surrounding food or chucks and putting in the jaws in the right order. Um, the easiest way that I find is you know, you've got your jaws and they you don't know what number they are. Line them up, line up the bottom edge of the jaw so they'll be going in this way. That's your gripping side here. I do actually have numbers on mine, but uh, for the purposes of demonstration. So line up the bottom edge, and then you're going to want to arrange them so that they make a step. So you see that one starts first, then you drop down, then that one, drop down, then that one. So that'll be jaw one, two, and three. And if you look, jaw one, jaw two, and jaw three. That is the easiest way I've found to identify what jaw is what. So when it comes to putting in your jaws, I'll see you've uh, identified which ones are what, one, two, and three. Some of the won't have numbers, mine does, but you can ignore those. They don't mean anything really. Uh, normally I would go one and one, two and two, whatever. It doesn't matter where you start, just as long as you put jaw one in first. So the easiest way I find is to look inside. I'm gonna go uh, one and three. So wind, wind the skull in. See the start of the skull comes here. Turn it back. Put in jaw one. Wind it around until you see it in the next slot. Turn it back a bit. Put in your next jaw. Until you see it in the next slot, over here. And put in jaw three. And now, all of your jaws are in there. They are perfectly on centre. So something you see a lot as well is people chasing, uh, chasing good run out with a feed or chuck. I've just stuck this in here and you can see you've got some considerable run out here. What people don't realise is that you can actually tap the jaws and get your run out a lot better. So I've just got a piece of aluminium here. Avoid using something hard so you don't damage anything. Find a high point as you would normally. And, uh, Give it a few taps. Would you look at that? I have to admit, I uh, got lucky there. Look at that. And just to prove to you, if I get my hand in the way there, so you can. So that'll be more than adequate for any feed you're chucking. Normally you don't even consider run out with a feed or chuck with hard jaws because you're working from bar, you're going to turn anything anyway. Uh, if you are going to be doing a second operation in hard jaws, uh, yeah, just stick a cock on it. Decide what you can accept as a run out. If you've got a drawing, obviously stick to your drawing tolerances. And uh, go around with something soft and give it a tap. As I say, I got lucky there, that was a nice easy one. Got that first time, but normally you just go around find the next high point, tap, 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 spin it, next high point, tap, tap, tap. Same as a four jaw chuck, but rather than adjusting its jaw, you're um, tapping the jaw. Though it is obviously a, a limit to this, but, and obviously don't go, don't go nuts on it, beating the life out of every jaw, because your chuck won't like it, but just, yeah, gentle taps, and you're pretty much guaranteed to get a good result.